Photoshop Tips and Tricks by Learn Creative. Tip number one. How to select white objects in Photoshop. Don't use this method. Instead duplicate the object and create new solid color like dark blue etc. Set the blending mode to color burn and merge both layers. Then go to select menu and click on the subject. This will make a selection of the main subject. Now select first layer and click on add vector mask. And it's done. Tip number two. How to duplicate object in a circle. Don't use this method. Instead set the top ruler at the bottom of the object and the left ruler in the center. Then press Ctrl plus T from your keyboard and set the center point to the bottom center. Then go to rotate option and type 360 slash number of duplicates you want to make. Here I am making 8 copies. And press enter twice. Then press alt Control shift plus T from your keyboard. And repeat. And it's done. Tip number 3. Don't do it like this. Instead, select the layer. Click on channels. Select the blue channel. Create a copy of it. Then click on the Image menu, Adjustment, and then Levels. Apply these settings. After that click on the Select icon, and it will make a selection of it. Now delete this channel, and click on the Layer panel. Select the layer go to Select menu and click on Inverse. Then click on Add a Vector Mask. And it's done. Tip number 4. How to create multiple artboards in Photoshop. The first thing you will do is head over to the layer window. And right click on the layer and select artboard from layers. This gives you the option to name it. You can duplicate this artboard by dragging it to the new layer button. Or simply press Ctrl plus J. Having artboards can allow you to do color changes, change images, and lot more. These artboards can export separately. For this go to the file menu then export and export as. Select all and keep all the settings and click export. Choose a folder for these files. Tip number 5. How to clean stamp in Photoshop. The first thing you will do is to select the stamp area. Go to the layer panel, left click on layer fill and choose black and white. Apply this modification on the red line. And it's done. Tip number six. How to use Puppet Warp to move objects flexibly in Photoshop. First, click on Select Menu and Subject. Minus Lower Area with a Rectangular Marquee Tool. Once you make, press Ctrl plus J. Now right-click on the Layer icon and click on Select Pixels. Then go to Select Menu then Modify and Expand. Go to the Edit Menu and click on Fill. Use these settings and hit OK. Then select the top layer and click on the edit menu and then puppet wrap. A mesh will come on selected object like this. Now click on the image to add pins to the image. I add multiple pins. And finally you can move this flexibly. Tip number 7. Don't do it like this. Instead, select the layer. Right click from the mouse then click on select pixels. After that click on add vector mask. Then click on filter menu. 
been other in minimum. Set radius as per requirement. In my case I set one pixel. And it's done. Tip number eight. How to remove smoke background and change color. Select the layer. Go to layer panel new and then layer via copy. And change its blending mode to soft light. Then select both layers and merge them. And then right click from your mouse and click on select pixel. Go to edit menu and take copy of it. And add layer mask. Hold Alt button and left click for mouse on layer mask. Now paste previously copied. Then hold control button and left click for mouse. It will get selection of smoke area. Now add any solid color. In my case I add white color. And it's done. You can do experiment with colors. Tip number 9. How to remove the shutter stock watermark in quick time. Click on create new fill icon and select levels. Then play with levels. And it's done. Tip number 10. How to create mobile 3D pop-out photo effect in Photoshop. First, you need to select the magic wand tool and make a selection of the mobile screen area. Now click simply Ctrl plus J or follow my steps. Now right click on the image layer and click on create clipping mask. Then press Ctrl plus J again or do it manually. Go to Select menu and click on the subject. It makes the selection of subject. After selection of subject click on Create Layer Mask. Select the Eraser tool and erase the left side of the image. And it's done. Here is a bonus tip. How to blend text with background in Photoshop. The first thing you will do is to select the text layer or any object. Then right click on the layer to open blending options. Go to the underlying layer, drag to the left. Then hold the Alt button, break this point, and adjust. And it's done. Make sure you head over to my YouTube channel. Where I upload graphic related tutorials. Thank you for watching.